Welcome to Sacred Knowledge, the ultimate truther trivia show. Please give a warm welcome to your host, Christo Logical. Hi, guys. Welcome to the ultimate truther challenge trivia show. Let me turn this music down a little bit. Are you guys excited? We've got three contestants who you'll meet in a second. It's going to be glorious. Give a warm welcome to Carl, our announcer. Thanks, Carl, for being here, Carl. Carl and I, we actually go back quite a bit. I, the first time I met Carl, uh, oh, man, was he in rough shape. Wasn't that correct, Carl? That's right, Christo. You and I have definitely seen some things that would singe the innocent sparkle right out of a child's iris. Ain't that the truth? You are in a little bit worse shape than me, don't you think, though? Just to- Ain't that the truth? You found me at the top of a mountain in a squirrel suit with a needle still in my arm. And I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am that you convinced me to jump. Okay, Carl. uh, That's church. Let's get this fire started. That's right. Why don't we why don't we just skip ahead here? Uh, Carl, thanks for being here. Thanks for everything you do. Uh, that, um, for, so so you guys know the, the format is pretty standard. It's a trivia show. Uh, the guests, uh, the contestants will see on the screen the questions and the answers. However, there is something you guys can do to participate. Um, what you see here is a $10 submission trivia question. You can go to bobchats.com and send in your own. We already have a couple. Now, you don't need to provide the answer i don't even need to know the answer in fact you just send it in and try to stump our lovely guests should we meet our guests i think we should probably meet our guests let's bring our guests on let's get a bunch of w's in the chat for our lovely guests who will bring on just now okay all right hey welcome hi hi every hi lovies let's start with mike here mike uh welcome to the show uh you have a background in uh all things music and painting houses and uh conspiracy oh oh you got a conspirator lovely and suburban i uh it said in your bio you're a moody musician uh pretentious and doesn't like to be around people is that is that right this is very true yeah yeah well, it's what ha- to be here you have such a lovely smile thank you so much um well i hope you do well i think you'll do okay and posh uh posh you're calling in from another country aren't you <laughs> go ahead uh, yes thank you very much for having on this pauper from a very poor country uh, but i'm happy to represent the more eastern religious <laughs> worldview, <laughs> which i think that's what i'm here for that's great. Can you tell us a little bit more about Serbia? You said you're from Serbia, right? Tell us a little bit about more. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, so uh, we blah, like- blah 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 <laughs> blah blah That's blah, great. blah 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 blah. That's great. Um, thanks that for being here. Everything from the uprising against the Ottomans, basically. Okay. All right. Well, should we get started? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce your your guys' possible prize in a little bit, but I want to make sure the chat is excited and ready to go here tonight. We're gonna get started with the first question. Okay. Let's bring this to the stage. The ultimate truth or trivia show. That's right. That's where we are now. Okay. Let's go. The first question. For the uh, oh by the way oh sorry 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 this this would have been weird um, the way this is working is I'm going to read the question um, and one of you is going to raise your little hand and whoever the first is to raise their hand it gets the answer to their question and the audience might have to decide I'm going to try to keep my eye on it but you guys use the honor code okay here we go the cult of the black cube is a book about what a Saturnalian worship b Islam c Freemasonry or D, critical race theory. I don't see any hands. Oh, Mike, go ahead, Mike. I believe it's A, Saturnalian worship. That is correct. A is the answer. Warm chat. I want a warm welcome for Mike. So first answer goes to Mike. I don't know if this is going to, is this predicting the, the future winner? I don't know. We'll know. Um, also in the chat, I'm not sure. I'm not keeping score. So I'm going to need the mods or someone or else we're not going to know who wins. Thank you so much, Mike. Congratulations on the first. Here we go. The next question. At what temperature does steel melt out? A, 2,500 degrees. B, 
1,500 degrees, C, 900 degrees, and D, 3,500 degrees. Go ahead, Suburban. Uh, D, 3,500? That's correct. That's incorrect. Sorry. That's incorrect. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Ooh, anyone next? Uh, Posh, are you raising your hand? Go ahead, Posh. Uh, I think it's A, 2,500. And that is correct. For Posh, it's 2,500 degrees. Of course, that's the melting temperature of steel beams, especially when planes hit them. Let's move along here. Um, <laughs> so we got one Mike and one Posh. Here we go. Which ancient civilization is often associated with practice of blood sacrifices? Is it A, Egyptians, B, Mayans, C, Greeks, and D, Romans. Which one is it, folks? Oh, Posh, go ahead. Uh, B, Mayans, but basically all of them. <laughs> it, that is correct. Primarily the Mayans. Very good, Posh. Uh, let's move along. What is the average lifespan of a standard incandescent light bulb in hours? Is it A, 750 to 1,000 hours, B, 2,000 to 3,000 hours, C, 5,000 to 7,000 hours, or D, 10,000 to 15,000 hours. Uh, Posh, go ahead. Suburban was first. Oh, well, who was C? Suburban? C. C? C. Correct, Suburban. Good job, buddy. Uh, it, it turns out all of your uh, staying inside away from people and learning useless information has really <laughs> paid off for you. All right, let's go. Um, what is the primary ingredient in soap? Is it A, sodium hydroxide, B, potassium hydroxide, C, glycerin, or D, sulfuric acid? Mike. C, glycerin? That's wrong. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Anyone else? Posh? I'll say D, sulfuric acid. Also, that is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever read. <laughs> That's also wrong. I wasn't sure. I just went with the funniest. Pa? Well, 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 Suburban, you have two uh, two answers on your side. Which I would which say was it? B. That's also wrong. Uh, none of you get the point on this one. You're all I've retarded. Never read Club. That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, would you like to get? Would I mean, being that you're already scoring, uh, would you? Would you folks like to know what you might win today, Carl? Sure. Thank you, Christo, you absolute freak. Our lucky contestants have the chance of winning some based swag. None of that garbage you see from the other game shows. The grand prize winner will receive a hilarious sacred knowledge ultimate truther trivia show mug. Shit is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, so the winner, I don't know, most, all three of you look like you drink beer consistently. So I, I hope the, a beer, a beer stein, a beer pint is, is a sufficient prize for all of you. So thanks for being here again. Um, again, if you'd like to try to stump the guests, go ahead and send a, uh, a trivia question, right? Uh, uh, is that, is that, is that correct? Uh, Carl, the Bob question, is that what we're doing here? Yes, you got it. If you'd like to stump the contestants with your very own trivia questions, we have great news. A section of today's show will be dedicated to stumping our guests with your questions. Just click the link that's pinned in the chat to craft your very own trivia questions. Please follow the terms and services guidelines or they will not be read. Back to you, Christo, you Fruit Loop. Right, so that means TOS friendly. Don't ask any question about the Jews. Um... Let's move along. Uh, what is the standard height? Oh, I'm sorry about this one, Posh. The standard height of a kitchen countertop in inches. Is it 30 inches, A? Is it B, 36 inches? Is it C, 42 inches? Or is it D, 48 inches? Suburban. Uh, it's B, 36. That is correct. A cl closer to... Closer and closer to a beer mug for you, Suburban. Um, I'm not sure where we're at. So I hope someone's taking score. I'm going to guess it's something like two, 
three, two, or four, five, four, something like that. Um, let's move along, shall we? What is the smallest bone in the body? Is it the A, femur, B, tibia, C, the stapes, or D, your penis? <laughs> Posh? B, tibia. That is incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. Ah! Any of the, the other two would like to try to answer? Yeah, suburban. Uh, Posh's penis. Posh's penis? I don't know, but I don't think so in this particular answer. Mike? Okay, sorry. Oh, are you going to answer? Oh, sure. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, C, Stapes. That is correct, Mike. It is the Stapes. I don't know where that is or what it is, but that's what that's what the internet told me. Uh, let's move along here. Which of the following is the most popular fantasy story? A, Harry Potter. B, Lord of the Rings. C, Star Wars. Or D, Darwin's Theory of Evolution. <laughs> Suburban, did you raise your hand? Yeah, it would be D. B? D, Darwin's Theory of Evolution. That's, that's correct. Wow. Suburban just cleaning house tonight. Let's get... <laughs> T, that is the most popular fantasy story. Correct. Way to go. Okay, let's move along here. Which is the process of preserving food by drying, salting, or smoking? Posh, you should probably know this considering you guys don't even have bagels, pizza, sushi, or steak. A, canning. B, pickling. C, dehydration. D, fermentation. A posh, go ahead. Uh, it's C, dehydration. That is correct. I knew he would get it. He has, he, Serbia has no access to food. Uh, they're still doing uh, pemmican, the, the old Native American dried beef mixed with tree bark. Um, here we go. Which ancient civilization is believed to have practiced necromancy? Is it A, the Babylonians? C, I mean, B, the Aztecs, C, the Sumerians, or D, the Celt Celtics. You guys are stumped. Go ahead, Suburban. Uh, a, Babylonians? That is incorrect. Uh, Posh, go ahead. I'm going to go with C, Sumerians. That's also makes you retarded. And Mike, you're left with two possible answers. Oh, we got a question in. I can't wait to visit it. We'll go to that right after this, shall we? Mike? Mike, just not listening. He could have scored a point right now, but he's he's he just refuses to answer. The answer is the Celts. The, those Gaelics, you know, neck... Necromancy is not sleeping with them, right? That's feel necrophilia, right? Necromancy is just talking to dead people, correct, Posh? Well, uh, Mancy would, could involve that, but basically manipulating the dead in some way, not not just the philia part. Gotcha. Okay, and philia is that's a, wouldn't that be the incorrect way of describing? Because that actually means love, doesn't it? It is one of the Greek words for love and is generally used for uh, a sort of uh, erotic love in these types of uh, compound words. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like uh, our announcer, you know, not to get into it, but Carl's, Carl understands some of this. All right, let's actually visit. Oh, it looks like we lost somebody. He'll come back in a second, but a good time to at least visit the, um, the other, the other uh, form of a question here sent in by our lovely audience. I hope you guys are enjoying. Here's a question for you. Well, we're going to wait. We'll see if he jumps back on quick. Unless, I mean, there's an advantage here if he's not here to for you two. So let's, um, let's give the advantage over to you two right now because this will be difficult anyway. Um, also in the chat, if you understand, know the answer to this because I don't. Uh, help me out. The chairman 
Edward E. Cox and B. Carol Reese headed what committee in April of 1952 to investigate tax-exempt foundations? That's a tough, that is a doof, big tough one right there. Not even Suburban knows this. Yeah, he's got the ethnic advantage here. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not the church committee that was the CIA one. That will, um, I don't know. Let's see the chat. Let's check the chat. Chat, do you even know the answer to this? Because I don't. I'm going to have to like search it, right? I have no idea. The tax exempt Islam. Someone says Islam in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Another question came in. We'll visit that in quite right. You know, actually, we were supposed to have Carl. Carl, you're not even doing your job. Is this the section where we try to go into the Bob chats or what? Huh? Carl. That's right, folks. This is the moment where you, the audience, ask the questions. Let's get some W's in the chat for everyone who sent a question with a Bob chat. Come on, nubbies, show some support. And if any of you think you can stump our contestants, by all means, get your Bob chats in now. Use the link in the chat. Okay, let's get started. Back to you, Christological. Thank you so much, Carl. Carl, you know, Carl talks like that normally too just like out for coffee okay this one comes in from sean thank you so much sean what is the width of christo's shoulders <laughs> is it a 13 inches b 16 inches um c 20 inches or d 22 inches okay, we don't mike. see mike we don't see you mike we need to see your beautiful face uh, anyone want to take a guess at Christo's, the width of Christo's shoulders here? Is with it one without the pads. With the, with the pads. <laughs> I, I thought so. Um, so Got to be 22. That's right. And Suburban, you, you win that round. 22 it is for you. <laughs> Bloody Imperial units. I'm, I'm, I'm disadvantaged here. It <laughs> is. It, it's, it's unfair. It's definitely unfair here. Okay, here we go. Uh, another question comes in from Hank, our resident Gnostic. Um, what is the creedless Christian derived religious movement characterized by a free responsible search for truth and meaning? Is it A, Discordianism, Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, Eastern Orthodox, or the Unitarian Universalism? Okay, could you repeat the, uh, the question? No, not the question. The answers. The, the answers. I'll do the whole thing. What is the creedless Christian derived religious movement characterized by a free, respons free responsible search for truth and meaning? A. Discordianism. B. Church of Jesus Christ Latter day Saints. Eastern Orthodox or Unitarian Universalism? Uh, <laughs> I guess went in. Unitarian Universalism? Is that what you're going with? Yeah. Okay. Posh, is he right? <laughs> uh, I would say the same thing, although the Mormons are pretty close. <laughs> and what can can you explain what Discordianism for the chat, being this, this is an educational program? I, I've not heard of Discordianism, but I, I doubt people would deliberately dub something Discordianism, but I'd be I, I, I'd be shocked. <laughs> okay. Um, Mike might be having some technical difficulties. Um, I'm going to actually do something here. Wild. I'm going to post the link in the chat. Someone who's willing to jump on with their face. You have to join with your face. Um, uh, jump in, right? And you will take Mike's points. You will take Mike's points. I think he has three. <laughs> You'll take Mike's points. Uh, uh, Andrew appears to have explained Discordianism. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, I was, yeah, I, we weren't live yet, uh, Crucible. Uh, did he explain it? Where is it? Uh, the the other one, Where the most it? recent one. Um, uh, I'm way behind on the chat here. Sorry. Um, the link is there. 
Um, Mike might be having some problems, but he did earn you a couple points. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can you can jump in, uh, Andrew, if you want. There's a, there's a spot there. Certainly make things interesting, more interesting. Um, there's the link there. Uh, unfortunately, oh, Mike's back. Is Mike back? Unless Mike's back, he seems to be blank here. Ah, uh, yeah, he's blank. He's blanking. Let's keep going with the uh, trivia questions from the audience. Thank you so much for your questions. Um, this one in from Kayla or from Adam. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. Um, what is the name of the pagan ritual that Alex Jones witnessed when he spied on Bohemian Grove? Suburban, you should probably know this, considered you've been there several times. <laughs> um, something about Moloch, right? Moloch? Yeah, well, something. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. To be fair, oh, I think he, he, may have, he may have sorted... <laughs> <clears throat> what is it <clears throat> cremation of care uh okay we're gonna go to uh our chat for this because these are these are wild ones that i um i'm not sure certain of chat can you look it up what is or actually the person who asked it given that you're probably here go ahead and tell us uh, is that what it is cremation of care uh, two people said it so that's suburban another point by the way who's keeping track Who's, who's looking to win this mug? Um, I think Suburban's in the lead by a tiny bit. Right? Mike, welcome back, Mike. Sorry you missed Thank two you. questions, none of which you or me would have gotten. So, <laughs> um, okay. Um, $10 again from Jim Bob Shoulders, who, who's not here, who shares 22-inch uh, width with... Uh, Christological shoulders. Uh, he says, I am loud and obnoxious. I like music that rhymes. I am a fraction of the population and commit half the crimes. What am I? Go ahead and say it in your most TOS friendly way. <laughs> Who wants to say it? Suburban wants that glass. He wants that beer mug. <laughs> Canadian? That's correct. <laughs> We're going to go with code and say, yes, a Canadian. I'll just, you know, taunt my, uh, pa my I want to give the, I want to give the, I'm going to give the point to Posh. He found a creative way of answering it without <laughs> p putting us in trouble. Uh, so Posh gets a point. Whoever the scorekeeper is, give Posh that point, please. Um, let me see. Uh, okay. We're all caught up. Let's move along. Now keep on, keep in mind, folks. Uh, the submission there, it's at the Bob Chats. You can go to the Bob Chats and submit your own question. Again, it seems to be the case you're stumping people quite often, maybe because they can't see the answers. So keep those coming, please. Um, especially, we're already 11 slides in. We have about um, maybe 13 or so more. So we'd love to extend the questions. Jim Jones. Oh, we got another one. Great. Jim Jones was the leader of which cult? A, Bertaria. B, the People's Temple. C, Nexum. Uh, D, Peace Mission Movement. Which cult did Jim Jones lead? Go ahead, Mike. Uh, going for the catch-up, Mike. And you're muted. Uh, can you unmute yourself if you can? There you go. Wait. Are you Say something. No. Nope. Unmute. Unmute. No. No. Mike. Show a number with your fingers so you at least get the point if you're right. Is it two? No, it's not two. It, you know, it's like we're it's like we're doing uh, affirmative action, uh, DEA stuff, DEI stuff, and we're having the deaf, uh, a dumb person come in who can't talk, who needs to <laughs> communicate. All right. Um, bringing on Andrew. Andrew, welcome to the show. Um, haven't seen you around the uh, gatherings that I've been to lately, so uh, no judging. Uh, and so you're going to, I think you have about five points if we're stealing Mike's points. Unfortunately, Mike's technical difficulties. Okay. The answer is, um, the answer is B. 
That is correct. A point for Andrew. The answer is B. Let's move along. Uh, does anyone in the chat have a, a lock on the score, please? Any of the mods, anybody at all, please, for the love of of, of uh, Christ consciousness. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, Thanks, let's Master. Move. Thanks for the point, Master. Hey, I no appreciate problem. it, man. No problem. You've come such a long way. No. <laughs> My wife's at the liquor store. I, I came home good. after a couple of days. I was on a little bit of a it's, bender, you know. It's it's good that you're you're growing your hair out. That's 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 uh, rejoiceful. So that'll help. All right, let's move along. What is the name of the ritualistic dagger used in Wiccan ceremonies? My favorite. Uh, a. Athame. B. Bowline. C. A chalice. D. A pentacle. Which is it, folks? How do you how do you answer? How do you chime in to answer? Oh, raise your hand. Go ahead. It's uh, A. That is incorrect. Uh, go ahead, Posh. I'll just say D Pentacle because it you, sounds gay enough. That is, and going with the gay standard, Posh is correct. Uh, there's a number of answers to today's questions that if you use the same standard, you'll be right every time. So that's a smart move for Posh. Posh catching up, I think. He's getting, he's just behind Suburban. Um, Andrew is also uh, gaining some steam here. Uh, which of the following fossils were not fraudulent? Not fraudulent. A, Piltdown Man. B, Nebraska Man. C, Archaeoraptor. Or D, Fanny a fly. I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with B. B. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's incorrect. Well, I just figured anything from Nebraska sucks. So yeah. That's yeah. That was false. That Nebraska man was a fraud. Posh. Uh, I'll go with the Fanny a fly. Uh, no, that was also false. Suburban, would you like to try to answer Suburban? A, Piltdown Man. No, Piltdown Man was one of the most famous fraudulent fossils. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, any other? Well, yeah, so it'd be, it'd be what, the Archaeoraptor? They just leave C. Is no, it I'm, Nebraska? Man? <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is a bastard move. They're all fake, all the fossils. All of them on the screen are fake. So that's how that goes. So uh, I, I just want to- no way it's a raptor and I knew the first two were fake. Just, so I... just, just trying to teach you all a lesson here. Uh, what was Admiral George Stephen Morrison known for? A, exploring the Antarctic, bro. B, being Jim Morrison's dad. C, 1964 Gulf of Tonkin incident or D, B, and C. Oh, that's interesting. Go ahead, Suburban. D, B, and C. That is correct. Suburban ever closer to the first ever Sacred Knowledge Award. Just a simple glass. You're very close, sir. Um, that, that's a hard one because people think, oh, Admiral Bird. Maybe they hear the word Admiral and the truther's mind goes spiraling into flat earth. And here, there they are. But no, it turns out Jim Morrison's dad was a major uh, part in the Gulf of Tonkin incident, which was uh, famously uh, found to be um, a fake or some sort of psyop. Uh, Jesse Ventura loves that psyop, but uh, that is definitely a one of the best truth or questions out there. Ted Kaczynski, mostly known for his math, <laughs> for his math, uh, had a cabin located where? In A, Conifer, Colorado, B, Lincoln, Montana, B, or C, Missoula, Montana, or D, Aberdeen, Idaho. Where did Ted Kaczynski, the mathematician, have his famous cabin? Oh, Andrew. D. Aberdeen, Idaho. No, no, that is that is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's incorrect. And I love it when we have a man up here that think he's smarter than in sliced bread. I guess. Posh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> okay, 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 Posh. 
<laughs> Posh? Uh, I'll go with A, Conifer, Colorado. That is also false, you bloody retards. <laughs> Suburban, are you going to answer or just sit there? B, Lincoln, Montana. That is correct. Suburban, ever closer to the drink cup. Well done, Suburban. Let's move along. And I'll go. Uh, so the whole trick to this game is just to not guess first. <laughs> that's the whole pretty that's much the whole strategy. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, you know that's, what? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Christological is just sending Suburban, you know, hints now because he doesn't want to pay for the shipping to Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's actually an old uh, guru of mine who's long since dead and buried under a tree. Um, told me that the that the the trick to life is to have other people volunteer before you so you know a bit a bit a bit cowardly but it does work doesn't it all right let's move along here and we'll go that back to, to have sex with a chick though that's well i guess it depends on the you don't want somebody else to volunteer before you right that sounds and like violence that they, yeah, yeah they volunteer Okay, which of the following government projects involved high altitude explosions? A, Operation Fishbowl, B, Operation Sea Spray, C, the Tuskegee Experiment, and D, Operation Northwoods. Which of them involved the high altitude? Go ahead, Suburban. A, Operation Fishbowl. That's correct, Suburban. You are literally growing tinfoil out of your scalp as we speak. <laughs> Let's go over to the chats. Uh, again, if you guys want to send in your own stumping questions, you go there, go to the Bob chat. There's a special icon there for you to do that right there. Uh, let's go to our more recent one from Troy. Oh, no, we already did that one. Let's go to this other one here. Logan. Thank you, Logan. Um, he doesn't even submit a question. He doesn't even submit a question. But he, but he sends the donation anyway. Thank you so much. Let's That's move on. That's actually on. so deep when you think that about is. it. No, that he is. wanted There's... to send in this question. He okay, wanted to ahead. know if Posh's hair is trimmed to be white trashy like that or if it grows a naturally white trashy like that. He wanted to know. Uh, I would like to, uh, in my defense, say I don't have a lot of experience with hygiene so i don't know what's going on. <laughs> well you did you did get you did get your lunch out of the dump today right as a good serbian would <clears throat> no, no, no we hunt uh, small rodents yeah. <laughs> yeah that was the one question he had what is de dehydration of animals he answered it before i asked it so it just seems to be on automatic now okay who is the person heard in the following clip Let's play the clip here. To uh, make everybody come before a properly appointed board and say, sir or madam, now will you be kind enough to justify your existence? If you're not producing as much as you consume, or perhaps anything more, we cannot use the big organization of our society uh, for the purpose of keeping you alive. I think it would be a good thing to... Uh, Make everybody come before a properly appointed board and say, sir or madam, now will you be kind enough to justify your existence? If you're not wow, what a psychopath, Posh. Uh, D, George Bernard Shaw. That is correct. It is George Bernard Shaw, uh, who is often, uh, you know, touted in all the memes and quotes from the, the atheists and secularists as some sort of hero. That was his actual voice saying those actual things. Good job, Posh. You're closer to the beer stein yourself. How much money did Donald Rumsfeld announce was missing after 9-11? Is it A, $3 trillion, B, $800 million, C, $2.3 trillion, or D, $1.7 trillion? Posh. C, $2.3 trillion. That is correct, Posh. Way to go. Posh is getting thirsty over here. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to ship a mug to Serbia or if you guys even have glass there at all. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, we can to... send him a ceramic mug if we need to. That's right. Yeah, we'll swap it out. Uh, I'll just go around with it and scare people. We're right. going to try to reverse engineer it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what is this? Uh <laughs> According to NASA, no one has returned to the moon because A, we lost the technology, B, we destroyed the technology, 
There is no reason to go back or D, Buzz Aldrin would feel less special. Andrew. Uh, the answer is A. That's incorrect. Posh. No, it's not incorrect. The answer is all of them. Mm, that's possible. <laughs> Suburban. B, we destroyed the technology. That is their claim that they destroyed it. And we don't know how to build it back. That is correct. That is the correct no, wait, answer. They said we, they lost it, I thought. No, they said they lost the telemetry data. They said they destroyed the technology. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, but, yeah. But they did say there's no reason to go back. Uh, no, actually, Don Pettit, who who actually pretty much runs, at least until recently, runs NASA, oh. said he even did a TED Talk saying, well... The uh, going to the moon is probably the best possible idea for many different reasons. He gave a whole hour talk about it. Um, uh, Logan Daly's question was, who is the streamer Jim Bob's most anticipated interlocutor? That's not even a trip. That's just a subjective question. Some of you can answer it. Uh, wh who, who is Jim Bob's most anticipated interlocutor? There's no Sam right Harris. answer. Well, that would be I think that's a good I think that's a good one. Maybe, I'm not sure. Definitely wouldn't but be. He a, says, he says he'll only debate with Christological though. So <laughs> well, that's that's. Uh, I'm waiting for my chance to debate anybody. Now, if I were to go over to your 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 channel there, I might make a mockery of it, showing up the way I uh, the way I do and the things that I say. But you never know. Um, uh, is it multiple choice? Yeah, it is multiple choice, except for the donated ones. So if you want to donate a question, this is not multiple choice, though some people included it, the extra work I appreciate, but it's not always. All right, let's move along. I think your um I think your boy got his stuff fixed. He's in the background now. Is oh, that, is he? Is that Wait, the right no, one? Check the check not, the prior. Oh, okay, okay. He's gotcha. not no. Another bot another chat came in. Let's do that one. These are the they're a bit harder. Uh John comes in all right um again another donation but no question added maybe they're having a uh, difficult time writing the question but john you you know who you are go ahead and write it in the chat and i'll bring it up if you want um let's move along on the pre-made ones the person in the following clip believes there are how many dimensions a 12 <laughs> b 40 C, 11. D, 33. Again, the person in the clip believes how many dimensions. We're family holy ones, my chihuahua. Understand, Indigo child. It's not some lofty, uh, not so... Uh, it's something extraordinary. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Indigo holy one. It's nice to meet you. That's what you are, holy one. Ultima, my chihuahua, is light. Makima, brilliant, love man, Michiwa. Oh, brother, speak in my language. Oh, oh, sorry. So, the question is, how many dimensions does that guy believe exists? Go ahead, Andrew. He's not exactly sure. He just knows that in every single one of them, there's gay people. <laughs> That's correct. If we gave away half points, you'd get one. Go ahead, Suburban or Posh. <laughs> go ahead, Suburban. I'm just going to go with uh, D33 just because. That's incorrect. Ooh. Posh? I'll just say C11. That's also incorrect. You guys are all retarded. The answer is A. 12 he believes in 12 dimensions he, he believes in 12 uh, angelic beings 12 civilizations 12 12 12 all over the place 12 uh that's the correct answer you, you guys uh, i believe I, I did get 12 just you so got you know. it okay i did get it or oh you did get 12 all right yeah, i got 12 and 40 and 11 and 33 <laughs> so okay <laughs> i was i was kind of hedging my bets here a little bit jim bob i mean Sorry, Christological. Excuse me? Yeah, my bad. Name the papal bull that some conspiracy theorists claim give the Roman pontiff ownership of all earthly souls. Name the papal bull that some conspiracy theorists claim give the Roman pontiff ownership of all earthly souls. Papal bulls. 
the hell? What? What? It's not the donation of Constantine. That's not a bull. It's not Pastor Eternus. What's that gibberish? <laughs> oh, I, I thought I was muted. <laughs> no, no, you're just speaking different languages. Oh, okay, go ahead, Andrew. Is it Interstatera? Because well, I don't know. Google says <laughs> <laughs> negative, negative point, negative, negative, point. negative, <laughs> negative point, negative point for yeah, Andrew here. Uh, let's see EBT if he if he answers it. Please EBT give us the answer because nobody apparently got it here. So gonna have to uh, give us the answer there. In the meantime, let's go to a note. Another one coming in. That's great. Let's go to this one here. All right. Oh, this one from Keenan. Thank you, Keenan. This popular figure grew to prominence in the 1960s, popularized Zen Buddhism in the West, and characterized himself as a philosophical entertainer. Who is he? He's not Christological, unfortunately. Someone beat me to it. Who is this character? Uh, go ahead, Suburban. Alan Watts. I believe you're correct, Alan Watts. I'm going to go ahead and give you the point. Keenan, tell me if that's wrong. I'm almost certain he's not wrong here. Uh, I believe it's Alan Watts. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 move along. Um, there's another one here. Okay. Um, Dustin. Here we go. Dustin asks, what were the first words said by Louis Armstrong or Louis Armstrong? When he landed on the moon, <laughs> A, I see no stars here, B, the skies of blue, C, who did 9-11, and D, did you know who? Do you know who? It's a, it's a trick question, but I believe there is a correct answer to that. Oh, go ahead, Andrew. It's uh, C, live long and prosper. <laughs> right, that's incorrect. <laughs> incorrect posh. I believe it's uh, A with the stars. If that's yes, a. that's correct. Yeah, that is the historic. That is the historical accuracy of the question. That's completely muddled in falsities. Uh, that's the kind of question we love here. Um, here we go. I don't know if there's another one here. We'll wait for that one. Okay, let's move along here with uh, the ones we have. The universal life force that flows through everything is referred to as a prana. B key c christ consciousness that's one b d vibranium andrew go ahead you got it first c that's that's incorrect that's true for me but it's actually not the correct answer and i don't believe in correct answers <laughs> <laughs> go ahead suburban a prana that's correct, James True Lover. This is our way of exposing James True fans. Now we know Suburban, what he does on the evenings when his family goes to bed. He listens to James True. Posh, did you have something to say, brother? I wanted to ask, bro. I wanted to ask, uh, so Chi, uh, B, Chi, uh, is that just like, uh, I know it's a life force of sorts, but... You had to have done some research to tell us. Well, the chi is more of just general energy, right? But prana mm -hmm. is very specific as it flows through. Okay. So uh, prana, you'd have to say, there's no place it doesn't exist where you might actually go up to one of my, my former um, associates and say, hey, where is chi not? And they might point to something, right? Um, Do you that's Americans I, call it shrimper? Like prawn are uh, that you call it? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I have something for this. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I almost killed my own back with the cringe, but I had to do it. <laughs> Nicely done. You have one point removed. The most influential people in Congress, U.S. Congress, prefer which of the following foods? A. Sushi. B. Steak. C. Bagels. D, potatoes. Go ahead, Andrew. I'm going to go with uh, C. That is correct. Now you're on a list. Uh, Andrew, coming <laughs> coming up slowly, catching so some... necromancers with D? <clears throat> no, no. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but Posh here, he's never had A, sushi, B, steak, or C, a bagel. 
Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with A. All three. He's not had any of them. Yep. I mean, but, I mean, listen. I'm not from a country that eats uh, beef instead of <laughs> pork because you shouldn't eat pork. Eats bagels and also <clears throat> does a lot of circumcision for you, no well, I know. reason. <laughs> In Pasha's defense, <laughs> me and Christological and this other gentleman here have not probably eaten garbage either. So the, you're American be, and you exclusively eat garbage. No, no, no. I mean, a but not like right, syrup, not syrup. right out of a UN dumpster, packaged. though. I mean, yeah, I mean, no, just packaged. <laughs> yeah, just just it's like, packaged. Fair enough. You've got better, you know, uh, presentation. <laughs> yeah. How are your uh, 1960s rations doing anyway, Posh? <laughs> well, you can see I'm, I'm adequately plump. <laughs> yeah. Do they, guys... do they still come? Do they still come with cigarettes right in the right in the RE? <laughs> are you yeah, guys you have uh... a non-fire lighter? You know, like you have a pa non-fire. Posh, Posh, I have a question. Are you guys keeping up with your procreation in Serbia? How's the population there? Um. We have a lot of people who go abroad to work, so that does... Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, no one cares. <laughs> you think that there's ever going to be a woman who wants to procreate with somebody like Posh? Come on. <laughs> I mean... I've, I've, they've written me directly. I just haven't forwarded... <laughs> I just haven't... <laughs> I just haven't forwarded the messages. Hey, I, I, I had uh, Grace Thorpe being interested. Oh, yeah, early on. Well, Ben, let's say, let's be fair. It was Ben interested in Grace, interested in you. Well, that, that makes it all the more special. Okay, here's but a question. Gosh, aren't you aren't you like a sixty five year old man trapped in a twenty five year old man's body? <laughs> You're gracious with the sixty five. <laughs> I actually I have to find this photo and send it to Jim Bob. I have a photo of me walking with two canes, both being taller than me. I was like four or something. <laughs> You're already doing it. Pointing at people. Posh, uh, Posh, that story took longer than this whole game show, Posh. <laughs> Let's I'm move. giving the people some time to send in more. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. One more Very just came welcome. in, by the way. Here we go. Uh, what country, this one's from Zon, uh, X Zon, I don't know how to pronounce, X H O N. What country was Alexander the Great from? A, Albania, Ohio, Serbia, or Serbia, but gay. Uh, I'm going to go with C. C. No, that's incorrect, Andrew. I, I'll happily answer C, which is Serbia, but gay, also known as Macedonia. Um, that's, <laughs> it's also that's, a lot shorter. That's incorrect, too. That's also incorrect. <laughs> okay, so he's from Ohio. That, that's, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> There you go. Things th things nobody knows. Um, here's one from Nate uh, Snagglebeast. Thank you so much. Although no one can truly know, how many online circles believe that Hillary is actually no longer alive due to this disease caused by ingesting brain matter? What's the name of the disease that, that uh, people, the conspiracy people think? Go ahead, Andrew. That's uh, secretions from the pineal gland. <laughs> oh, I do that all the time. That's not the answer. I'm not dead, yeah. and I do that on the weekends. Posh. <laughs> Is it mad cow's disease? Well, there's a specific name for it that we're looking for. From the prions. I... Okay. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a K. <laughs> I don't think I can answer that, especially not in front of suburban here. But... <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, go ahead. Suburban, do you know the answer? I, if it's spelled right, no. it starts with a K. The answer is Kuru. Kuru is the answer that people believe Hillary Clinton is long dead and uh, there's some other version of her, of her running around because she already passed on from Kuru. I mean, okay. if someone is going to have a mad cow disease, it's going to be Hillary. So. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. You ready? Uh, how many miracles did Jesus perform across the four Gospels? A, 100, B, 33, C, 37, or D, 12? Go ahead, Suburban. 12. 
No, that's wrong. <laughs> on this episode of Awkward Christian Moments on the Internet. So what are the remaining ones? No, no, no. I know the answer. I'm just going last so that, you know, oh, yeah, so, so that the rule. A, you know. A is 100, B is 33, C is 37, and D is 12. Okay, well, I'll Bosh. go with B. Uh, oh, now B. I'm taking B because I, no, I raised not, my both, hand both of, your, both of you are wrong. <laughs> Damn it. The, the answer is C, 37. If this person isn't trolling, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't read the Bible that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm new age. Accountant reads <laughs> right, right, right. We don't know. We don't know. Um, here's another one that just came in. Some consp thank you, EBT. Some conspiracy theorists claim that Tesla claimed that which number would unlock the secrets of the universe? A, 33. B, 666. C three six nine or D forty two. Even I know this one. Go ahead, Suburban. Three six nine. That is correct. Three six nine. Ever closer to the beer mug he so greatly desires. Uh, let's co let's continue with the pre made ones here. Who refused? Okay, hang to on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. My my Taco Bell has arrived, so I have to leave. Um, <laughs> but I was happy. Happy to come in and fill in, Christological. I appreciate you having me on. Hey, no problem. Enjoy your Taco Bell, also known as fake meat inside yeah, a but, diaper but wrap. It's, it, no, this is worse because it's vegan Taco Bell, basically, right. because it's oh. Lent. So that's oh, right. Us. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for taking over, Mike's. And now we'll have uh, Wesley jump on, who's waiting in the corner, to take over your spot. Hello, Wesley. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. How's it going? Welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. Little game of uh, contestant tag. All right, let's move along. You are taking on Andrew and Mike's points. And there's another super chat that just came in. We'll ask that in a second. But first, who refused to buy 33% of Apple computer for $50,000 in the 1970s? Was it A, Nolan Bushnell, B, Steve Wozniak, C, John Scully, or D, John McAfee? Who really, uh, who F that one up? D. You have to raise your hand, Wesley. Oh, I did. I, what? Okay, Wesley? Yes? What'd you say? D. D is not not the answer. It's it is not, not, not the answer? It's not John McAfee, no. I'll give you a hint. Oh, go ahead, Posh. I'll, I'll say A. That's Nolan. correct. Nolan, Bob, <laughs> Nolan Bushnell, yes. who started Atari, who also created Chuck E. Cheese, for which he should be eternally judged uh, for the demonic attacks it gave me when I was a kid. So, B, Nolan Bushnell, kicking himself even today that he didn't purchase. Uh, well, hold on, Wesley. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for your jumping out. I just have to. Well, we're going to test it one more time. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, we can hear you. Can hear welcome, welcome back. All right, Mike, you're back. People have jumped in, scored I points for you. People love you. Um, let's go to the next one here. What does the following symbol represent in occultism? It is a, I believe that's called a pentagram. Um, a unity. B protection. C spiritual balance. Or D wisdom. Which of the four does that represent? Posh. I'm going to go with C, spiritual balance. That is correct. Posh, you're correct. Spiritual balance is the correct answer. Very good. Um, now, does it produce that actually? No. no. None of that's true. And even from a, new, a, a truth or a new ager like me who would love to believe it, it's just not, it's not true. Emmanuel, thank you so much. Um, okay, this is a good one. Okay. One of you... Please say one quote from Abraham Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago. Uh, I guess we'll give you that point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get that one point. All right. Now, we're going to move over to the Super Chats again. 
That is it for our pre-made things. I gave you guys 25. Thought it was a good good amount. I still have more in the queue somewhere else, but they won't show up on screen. I can do that. But I'd rather go to the, the chats here. So let's go back over here. And um, for you guys, if you want to uh, submit one, again, you go to bobchats.com and you will see this icon and uh, you'll be able to submit there, okay? Now, I, I do have some others. Let me see. Let me see if they're up here. Okay. Um, okay. Let's check this. Check my source here. Um, um, trivia. All right. Okay, we're good on that side of things. Okay. All right. In the chat. Let's check the chat here. Chat, where are we? Someone please, in the meantime, produce the the score for me. Would you, would you kindly produce the score for me? Okay. I would really appreciate that. I need to see the score. We need to figure out who's closest to this mug and who's going to get the mug, okay? Um, again, <clears throat> if you like the show, if you didn't submit a trivia question, um, uh, Carl has an announcement for you, and uh, let's hear from Carl in a second. And in the meantime, I'm going to search for a couple more questions here to keep the show going, okay? We have an exciting opportunity for all of our viewers who want to take their support to the next level. You see, producing a show like this takes dedication, resources, and of course, a little bit of magic. That's where you come in. We're inviting all of our amazing viewers to consider sending in a Bob Chat donation to help us continue bringing you the best game show experience possible. So if you've ever found yourself on the edge of your seat laughing along with our contestants or shouting out answers at the screen, we hope you'll consider joining us in this incredible journey by sending in your Bob Chat donation today. And just so you guys know, this is the um, up on screen here. Thank you, Chris. Whoops. <clears throat> this is what looks like Suburban is closest to winning. Uh, it's a it's a beer beer cup with yours truly on it that says winner. Um, everybody's going to want this one, even if you don't win. <clears throat> but we're going to give it a shot. You know, Posh, we'll give you we'll try to get you uh, get you going here. But it looks like Suburban is is dominating here. Do we have a count here? Anybody in the chat, please? Anybody keeping score at all? As far Nobody. as I've seen from the chat, uh, Suburban and I are tied at 11. 11. Holy moly. Holy moly. All right. Well, I'm just going to have to believe Posh. Uh, because I don't have a scorekeeper. Well, so. Megan says also that four eleven eleven. <clears throat> Some people say three point five eleven eleven. But all right, because eleven 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 right. eleven is <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Correct. All right, let's see this. Okay, let's uh, let's look over. Okay, here's here's another question. Okay, what is the term for the belief? that crystals possess healing and spiritual property. You don't get any uh, multiple choice on these. This is the more diff this is the more difficult ones where you can't see the answers. Can you repeat it? What is the term for the belief that crystals possess healing and spiritual properties? Go ahead, Suburban. Uh, Reiki? No. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's so on the nose and self-descriptive. Mike, go ahead. B, uh, protection? No. Oh, no, no. We're, we're done with that one. Right, let me... Uh, uh, okay. That's like a similar All question. Right. That's funny. No, these are uh, <laughs> these are questions from an uh, the source you can't see. Okay, we're going to move on. It's actually called <laughs> crystal he healing. That's all it was. Crystal <laughs> healing. <laughs> I was going to say crystallology just for the heck of it. Okay, which ancient Indian spiritual text outlines the principle of yoga and meditation? What is the text, the spiritual text? Yeah, Posh, what was that? Maybe Go ahead, it's Suburban. It's like a real Indian type sounding name, like Bhagavad Gita. That is correct. That is correct, Suburban. 
a 12. We're at 12, Vervin. The Bhagavad Gita makes me hungry. Uh, mm -hmm. That is correct. Yep. Um, what is the name of the spiritual practice that involves focusing one's attention on the present moment? Go ahead, Mike. Meditation? Close. Not exactly, though. I'll give you a hint. Sam Harris. That's your hint. Oh, uh, go ahead, Suburban. Go ahead, Posh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go with Zen meditation. Also incorrect. Suburban, your last chance here. Oh, oh Mike again. Mike again. Mindfulness meditation? That's, cor that's correct, Mike. Mike gets one more point. Mike is climbing back. We're going to have to set a limit on the, the amount here, okay? We're about an hour, right? So we're going to give you, uh, let me see. Mike has five. You have 12 and you have 11, right? So we need to give him, what, six is the minimum. If he gets them all right, he can win. Is that correct? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go basically until Mike uh, loses any questions. A lot of pressure here. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, what is... Oh, let's go to that. Well, no, we'll wait on this one. Actually, let's go to that one. Let's go to that one. Because I don't want to... I don't want to ignore that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. In from Portobellum. Which article of clothing was highly controversial in the relation to the Pope and the Catholics? Wait, I don't see you. Hold on, guys. I don't see you. Okay. Which... Did you get the question? Which article of clothing... Hmm. Okay. There's slightly misleading wording in here that might be confusing, but maybe that makes it more enjoyable. Which article of wearable was highly controversial in the relation to the Pope and Catholics. Mike, did you have an answer? Go ahead, Mike. Mike? Uh, uh, boner hat? Nope. Boner hat? Not a, no boner hats, no. <laughs> it, it, it was misleading with the clothing. I would say an art, uh, a wearable, wearable item. Especially in truther, in the truther sphere. Go ahead, Suburban. Uh, is it the like sash? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Further down. <laughs> Posh, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, the red shoes. That's correct, Posh. The red shoes. Now, Posh and Suburban are tied now. Uh, Mike, there's no way you're getting the mug today. Um, I could blame technical difficulties, may, you know, but stick around and you may still challenge them. But the, the race now for the mug is going to be between Posh, but you can get in the way, honestly. We're going to go until, let me see, um, how many of you guys have? 12 and 12? We're going to go to 15. The first to 15 between Suburban and Posh, that they, you, get the, you get the mug. Here we go. All right. What is the practice of using controlled breathing techniques for re relaxation and spiritual growth? Again, it's a funny name. We're going to skip that one. Who wrote the influential book, The Power of Now? One of my favorite books. Emphasizing the importance of living in the present moment. Did you have your hand up, Suburban? Yeah. Was it Tony Robbins? That's incorrect. He hmm. wishes. He, he's, he's fake anyway. He's a fake guru. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even say his name in my circles. I'm sorry. Posh, Posh do you, would you like to know? Okay, Eckhart Tolle. Even I knew mm. that. Of course I would know that. Okay, what is the belief in the existence of a universal life? Oh, no, well, oof. Hmm. Hold on, here we go. Which ancient symbol consisting of an equilateral, equilateral cross inside a circle is associated with various spiritual and mystical meanings? Which ancient symbol consistent of an equilateral cross inside a circle is associated with various spiritual and mystical meanings. What is it? Huh? I'll give you a hint. N uh, wait. 
I don't I don't know. It's the Celtic cross, in fact. Mm. Damn it, I was going to say that, but uh, that's <laughs> that's a regular cross. It can just be a regular cross with a circle on the cross section. Exactly. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the spiritual belief in the ability to perceive information beyond the ordinary five senses? What is that belief? Posh almost. It's right at the tip of his tongue, but suburban swooping in. Psychic? Well, I'm going to give it to you. It's clairvoyance. So, yes, I'm going to give it to you. Um, which, okay, so you're at, thir uh, you're at 13. Posh is still at 12, right? We're going to 15. All right. Which ancient civilization is credited with the development of the tarot cards, which are often used for di divination and spiritual guidance? Which civilization? Suburban. Egypt? That's correct. He's at 13. Uh, 14, right? You're at 14. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, all right. What is the belief in the existence of a higher consciousness or intelligence that pervades the universe? It's, it's, cons it's not as well explained, but you know this. Posh, go ahead. Is it panpsychism? Close. Often confused with? Animism. Often confused with? Oh, damn it. Same beginning of the word that you first Neism? said. What? Was that Mike? Did you say deism? Deism? No, no. Oh. Yes. Go ahead, pa uh, Posh. That's right. That's right. Pantheism is the answer. All right. This might be the, the one. Now, Posh is at 13 and Suburban is 14. Here we go. Um, what is the spiritual belief that all living things, including plants, animals, everything, has a soul? Posh? Banpsychism. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's the same as this other thing that doesn't start with a, with a P. That all things have a soul, not posh. Animism? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, animism. Okay, here's the tiebreaker. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, we're going to go to, I believe we have one more that just came in. And if, if that's the case, we're going to go the final question that determines... Who goes home with some swag mug? Here we go. And Logan, another donation with not a question. I appreciate the donation, but I wish it had a question. Let's go to Kayla. Let's go to this person, Adam, again. Okay, here it is. Here it is, folks. This is the last question. This is the deciding question. According to the In Cannabula Papers, what ghost town did a group of chaos scientists use as a base of operations to travel to alternate dimensions? In Cannabula papers, there's a ghost town where a group of chaos scientists, oh, sounds fun, used as a base for operations to travel to alternate dimensions. Posh? It's the one with where Area 51 is, I, I, but... Uh, nobody knows uh, the answer? I don't know that either. Uh, we'll go to the next one. It's called Ong's Hat. A-O-N-G-S, okay. new word, hat. Okay, so uh, someone did say Roswell. That's the one I was, th I was thinking of. Okay. Okay, this one from Woodfloor Alchemist. Thank you so much. What is the standard equation used to find Earth curvature? Is it A? six inches per square mile or b eight inches per square mile or c 10 inches per square mile or, or 12 uh suburban eight inches per mile squared that is correct we have our first champion celebration i'm gonna jack the music up for this guy uh a warm warm celebration to suburban for winning the 
beer stein slash mug cup first ever <laughs> winner. And more questions coming in. Let's go ahead just for 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 F's sake to keep uh, the questions going. But congratulations to Suburban for coming on uh, and winning the first ever. Uh, truther challenge trivia the the ultimate truth or trivia show if you're interested in being a, a, a contestant uh this is going to be a weekly or bi-weekly show let me know there's plenty of people who showed up in the chat who uh mike just left he was like i lost fuck this i'm out <laughs> um i uh, appreciate it oh no yeah, there he is there he is there he is um so uh that's that Thank you so much for the chats. Thanks for the contestants. Thank you, Carl. Uh, Carl, thank you so much for being uh, my gracious uh, announcer. Okay, I really appreciate that. And in closing, uh, I hope I didn't miss any other chats. If I did, I'm sorry. I try to keep this to an hour. Um, and so with that, thank you to the, contest to the contestants. I wish you a beautiful evening. And uh, let's see. Oh, one more thing. Who is Big Mike? Michelle Who's, Obama. That's correct. That's <laughs> correct. Always on his mind. Um, with that, thank you so much again for uh, for your participation. And until next time, this has been Sacred Knowledge, the ultimate truther trivia show. Adios, Carl. See us out, Namaste. Carl. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, wait. We got more. Hold on. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> hold, hold on. Which medieval heresy presented in Bohemia was famous for defenestration? I don't even know. Defenestration. Uh, is it to the Waldensians? I have no idea because the answer is not included. So uh, someone in the chat, Logan, you sent this. Go ahead and tell me um, which medieval heresy present, present in Bohemia was famous for defen defenestration. Defenestration. Yeah, it's when you kill someone and throw a bunch of this stuff on them stuff, uh, out of the window. Oh, really? That's what fenestrum is like. The window defenestrate means to oh. out of the windows. So. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know the answer. Uh, it, what? The Hoos. It, it could be because Bohemia makes sense with Jan Hoos, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure which one is it. Right. Right. Uh, what chemical compound is used in cloud seeding? Uh, Go ahead, Suburban. Yeah, like barium and aluminum. That is one of them. The one the answer here is different. It's a uh, it's a silver. What kind of what form of silver? Is it colloidal silver? Colloidal? No, I drank that this morning though. <laughs> okay, that's good stuff, right? <laughs> well, it can give you a weird. It can turn you blue like a Smurf. So I have to be careful unless I unless I set the date where I want that to happen. Then people silver. really think you're a guru. That's right. Silver <laughs> iodide is the answer. Okay. Uh, let's ra let's wrap this up again. A, a big congratulations to Suburban for winning the mug. Uh, thanks for participating, Mike. I apologize. You had some technical difficulties. Thank you so much for showing up, though. I really appreciate it. Sorry about and that. And with that, we're going to close out the evening. Uh, Carl, do you have anything? La last closing statements from Carl, my, uh, my, uh, my battling addiction friend. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Sacred Knowledge, the ultimate truth or trivia show. Thank you all for an epic evening. Thank you for your support and your participation. If you'd like to be a contestant on the show, please contact that Jim Bob guy for further information. With that, we wish you a wonderful night. Machiwa!